Hey everyone, today is the second video in a four part series, and today we're going to be covering bevel gears. In this week's video, I'm going to be discussing bevel gears, which are pretty similar to spur gears, and they may actually look the same on first glance. They're, they have teeth laid over a cylindrical shape, but they're different because the edges of their teeth are cut on an angle. And what this allows them to do is they can mesh at 90 degree angles, whereas spur gears cannot. And they can also mesh in straight lines with the shafts parallel, just as spur gears do. And they're kind of like a cross between spur gears, which I talked about last week, and conical gears, which I'll talk about next week. And another name for these bevel gears is double conical gear, because they're kind of like two conical gears put together end to end. Again, more on that next week. There are only three gears that LEGO makes that are in the bevel gear family. And in increasing size, there are the 12 tooth gear, the 20 tooth gear, and the 36 tooth gear. Now time for some gear combos with bevel gears. The first important thing to note is that unlike spur gears, the LEGO bevel gears cannot mesh with themselves to form one-to-one -one ratios. This doesn't have anything to do with the design of a bevel gear. This is just the way the LEGO gear sizes are laid out. If you had a LEGO bevel gear that had 24 teeth, it would mesh with another 24 tooth gear, just the same as a 24 tooth ge spur gear can mesh with itself. Again, not anything inherent to the bevel gear design, it's just the way that LEGO specific gears uh, fit, or rather don't fit, into the sizing of one beam. Here are some sample bevel gear combinations in a straight line, that is with the shafts parallel. You can have a 20 tooth gear as the input gear, spinning a 12 tooth gear. This gives us a ratio of 1 to 1.67 and consumes 3 studs of space. Or you could have a 36 gear to a 12 tooth gear. This gives us a ratio of 1 to 3 and consumes 4 studs of space. 90 degrees connections with 2 bevel gears are possible in the above combinations, but it's easier to replace one of the bevel gears with a conical gear just to fit it into the LEGO system a little bit easier, and this forms nicer 90 degrees. Um, that's what I'm going to be discussing in next week's video. As I mentioned before, it's all going to be conical gears. And finally, we have this interesting gear combination, which is a 20 tooth gear turning a 16 tooth gear, which is a ratio of 1 to 1.25. And this isn't directly in a straight line, as you can see. It's kind of on a bit of an angle, but it does work pretty well. And this is, of course, a combination between a bevel gear and a spur gear. Thanks for watching my tutorial this week. If you found it helpful, be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this every week. And if you have an idea for a tutorial, be sure to submit it in the comments section below. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.